Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be talking about the best amounts under 500,000 credits. Now I have done a video exactly like this one, I think it might have been verging on a year ago now and uh, that video is kind of outdated because I dealt with a lot of stuff that was cheap back then but obviously isn't going to be so cheap now as time goes on the cartel market items become a lot more rare than they used to be. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about the ones now that are going for very cheap. And a lot of people rightfully comment in the comment section of my videos uh, when it comes to series like these because they mention that, um, you know, at the time of this video, these items might be this cheap. But really, as you make the video and as time goes on, these items are, do not stay at these prices. And honestly, um, firstly, that is totally true. Right when I make these videos, the prices of these items shoot up because people who watch this video go out and buy them. But I have found that about maybe five, six days of verging on a week after I make the video, the prices almost always drop down to what they originally were. It's uh, it's always happened with all, any of the videos I've done concerning armor sets and other stuff. Like I've, I've monitored it, that always happens. So if you are wanting one of the items that I've put up in this video, I'm sorry for shooting up the prices in this moment, but they will drop down in about a week's time. Uh, secondly, this is kind of server specific because uh, you know prices on servers change, but um, you know I'm on the Harbinger server, so these are the prices you can find here. I would suggest that if you're interested in getting some of these mounts, go and check on your respective servers. Oftentimes, these silver and bronze mounts that I show off in these videos uh, tend to be going for very cheap prices. On some servers, it might even be cheaper than what I show than what I show you here. But um, but yeah, it's all kind of up there when it comes to these player-based economies. But nonetheless, let's get into some of these items. These are items that I have periodically seen go for low prices. It's not just in this moment, on this day or whatever, they're going for this price. I have been monitoring the GTN. I buy low, sell high all the time, so I'm really familiar with these prices. These are items I almost always see going for uh, these prices and sometimes even lower. So let's get into the first mount here. We have the Gale Cutter. Now this one's from like a Cutter series all the way back from the Shadow Packs. There are some different versions of it. You have the Talon Cutter and some other stuff it's a very piratey looking vehicle uh, was released around the time of the Rishi expansion so it kind of goes off that theme but very very nice nonetheless and for the price it's going for you know free to play players could actually use this if they wanted to and that's the beauty of this under 500,000 credit series a lot of these uh, mounts are under 350,000 credits meaning preferred players can use those as well and um, also for any player who's just on a budget and doesn't want to spend millions of credits getting that one mount but they still want something cool and flashy to show off Another mount here is the Calicar Escort. Very nice animation. Uh, this is one of those mounts that kind of covers your whole body and stuff. And one of the very few mounts that you can get that's like that uh, at low prices. So this one's pretty nice. The next one here is the Coastline Luxury Sidecar. This is a silver mount and there are quite a few sidecars in the game. You have like the droid sidecar and stuff. But this one is actually one of the cheaper ones. Uh, it's also not very, it's pretty old. I mean, I think the pack that it comes out of is no longer available, but nonetheless, it still goes for very cheap prices. So I would definitely suggest, you know, picking this up while you have the chance. The next one here is the Mina Scarab. This one actually has a flourish associated with it. And uh, once again, it's one of those mounts that covers your entire body. So that might be desirable for some people, but a very nice one nonetheless for the price it's going for. We have the Bloodthirsty Raptor and here now we're going to see a lot of beast mounts come into play because as you go for a slightly higher prices you find a lot of these beast mounts kind of milling around here. All these different types. This one is a Raptor. Uh, you will also have a Tauntaun that you'll see later on in this video. But yeah, I kind of love these beast mounts. I love to use them. Never actually unlocked a Raptor so I might actually just pick this one up just to use it for fun. Then we have the More Linger Phantom. This one's really, really new and it's huge. It's one of the biggest mounts that you're going to find at low, low prices. So if you're into that and you want like a huge mount to kind of uh, run around on fleet with, that's definitely the one to go for. We have the Armored Tundra Ice Tromper. This is one of the bigger beast mounts that you're going to find, uh, you know, aside from uh, the Veranticuses and the Rancors and stuff. These are probably the second biggest mounts you can find. So actually for 400 around K around that price, that's pretty cheap for a mount of this size because I have found that the bigger the mount, the more actually it sells for. So uh, this is pretty cool, a pretty awesome price. This one's a very new one, so this is probably only going to last now because uh, as the cartel pack that it comes from gets embargoed and stuff, it's probably going to get a lot more expensive. The only other version of this is actually from the uh, shadow packs, and that one sells for like upward of a million credits. We also have the um, Scarred Kemi Lizard. Uh, the Kemi Lizard series themselves uh, do often drop for very low prices. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool if you're into that stuff. 
the cartel relaxation skiff released in the, just the newest cartel pack has already dropped to a relatively low price um, this is a very very nice mount i absolutely love how this looks uh, and the other cartel relaxation skiffs that came all the way back in shipment one like the cartel decadence skiff and stuff those things sell for like millions upon millions of credits so this is a kind of a knockoff version of those very nice i definitely would suggest picking this one up this one is by far my favorite mount that you're going to find in um in all the ones that i list in this video Then we have the Wilderness Resupply Uxie Beast, based off the same model as that Ice Tromp or that Tundra Tromper that I showed you guys earlier. So, you know, if you wanted something like this, you can choose it. I mean, it's all up to just personal preference. We have the Survivalist Tauntaun, so exactly like the Raptor, except it's a Tauntaun. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to go roleplay on Hoth, this is the mount to use. Then we have the Oral Bird. Uh, kind of cool once again it goes off that rishi theme i do believe that the first oral bird was released around the time of the rishi expansion and then the next one here we have the droid sidecar as well so these are all items that um uh, the oral bird and the droid sidecar are items that came out of the grand nightlife pack so these are probably very time specific because uh, you know the grand nightlife packs are already off the cartel market so these when these things get bought up the price is probably going to shoot up so if you guys do want these now is the time to pick them up uh, if you're watching this video maybe a week or two weeks now it's probably no longer going to be there these good deals but uh, that's unfortunate but all the other stuff should be pretty cheap anyways i do hope you guys enjoyed this video i just kind of wanted to quickly update you guys on some of these cheaper mounts because um the last one was uh the last one was um outdated and for this one i see these periodically going for low prices and they don't actually seem to get bought up i mean i was thinking that um it would be kind of good to advertise them in a video let those people know who are on a budget but still want some cool stuff that they can actually pick out some awesome mounts for very very cheap prices i do hope you guys enjoyed the video uh let me know what you think in the comment section i'll see you in the next one